What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tune. In this video, we're gonna take a look at folder tracks in Cubase and Studio One. Okay, so folder track is actually a way for you to organize your track. For instance, if you have about 100 over tracks in your project, and let's say about five to 10 of them is a drum tracks, right? Like kick, snare, tom, hi-hat and so on. What you can do is you can put all those tracks inside a folder and name it drums. Whenever you feel like looking at the screen with a lot of tracks is overwhelming. You can just um, minimize those folder so you can only see a certain tracks that you actually want to work on. For example, maybe you want to work on vocals, right? So you can collapse all the folders for other instruments and you can just work on vocal tracks. So that is the purpose of creating a folder track. And if I'm not wrong, Cubase was the first one to introduce folder track, right? So I'm going to add a couple of tracks now. Let me show you guys. So let's add about 10 audio tracks now. And let me quickly rename these guys. Uh, let's say the other five tracks is a, a different instrument. So let me see. Maybe it's a cello, right? And uh, maybe it's a viola and violins and maybe a trombone there and a trumpet, right? Okay, now I have a couple of instruments that belongs to a certain uh, instrument family. For example, this is a drum family and this is a strings family. This is a brass family, right? Now I can organize them. So how to organize is very simple. Just add a folder track. Okay, so I'm going to put it here and I'm going to name this drums. Now the drum folders, I can actually now select all these tracks and drag it inside. So now once I've dragged all the tracks inside this drum folder, I can collapse them so I can only see these instruments, right? So that's one way of creating a folder track where you create folder and then you drag it manually. Then there's other way that you can create a folder track as well. So that is by selecting all these tracks and you can right click go to move selected tracks to new folder okay so let's rename this guy strings folder and a drum folder but these are only the folders it's not assigned to any group bus or anything like that right what if if you want to add both of these track into a folder and assign it to a group track so that now you also can adjust the level of the fader or you can add instruments or add uh, sound effects or something like that, right? It's very simple as well. So just select the instrument that you want to add to the folder track and group track. And go to edit, go to macros. Under the macro, you have this option. Select a track to new folder and add group channel. When you click on it, it's going to create a folder. And it's going to assign both of these tracks to a different group so i'm gonna select stereo i'm gonna choose brass folder okay now it created a brass group track where then i can add effects and scents right here okay so that's useful you can also rename this guy right change the color maybe this one and you can if you want you can drag this one inside as well so it's actually inside the folder okay that's useful so that is how you can create folder track in cubase so now now we're going to take a look at studio one to add a folder track in studio one it's, it's the same as in cubase you have to just click on the plus button here and you can create this folder track so let me just create one folder track so you have this folder track, all right? And let's add a couple of audio tracks, maybe four. Uh, no, let's add 10, just like in Cubase. So 10 audio track. So I'm gonna, okay, I don't have macro to name them, so I have to do it manually. Kick, cello. Okay, so I'm gonna color them red and right okay these are the drum tracks these are the strings tracks and the brass tracks so let me just rename this one drums so what i can do now is i can click on these tracks 
select all of them and just drag it inside this folder track and I can also collapse and collapse right okay so that's useful uh, the other way is also I can create a folder track just like in Cubase where I can right click on it and go to pack folder now I can rename this guys string okay if you notice there are few ways that you can actually create a folder track and, uh, and put all these tracks inside them there's one thing that studio one does better and that is you can actually create a bus track or a group track within this folder track okay so if I come and click on this drop down menu I now have a couple of options I can have a bus channel or a VCA channel and bus is actually the same as group in Cubase if I click on add bus channel and now I've created a strings bus channel and it, now you can see there is a, a level meter here if I go here now this one doesn't have that only the strings have that level meter with the name strings on it which means this folder contains a bus and if I go to the mixer mix console now I can see this right here okay so this is really really handy another cool thing that I like about studio one is let's say I'm creating a track here right now right oops I'm gonna create a couple of track now let me create maybe three okay so I have these three vocal tracks let's say right and I'm gonna actually drag it to the string folder okay just watch what happens the vocal tracks is the color of this vocal track is now following the color of the folder track okay and it automatically assign this vocal track to its strings folder which is another cool thing that I like in studio one unfortunately in Cubase you cannot do that if you drag a track inside a Cubase folder the color is not gonna change I have this drum folder with group assigned and the tracks right so if I create a an audio track so I did audio track right if I drag it inside this folder the color doesn't change right it's still the same it's not assigned to a drum bus if I go here you can see that it's assigned to the drums but if I go to if I go to this audio track the track is not assigned to the drums group bus but if I go to studio one now let's say I'm dragging this horn and trumpet inside this folder the color changed where's where is it yeah see the horn and trumpet the color have changed and it's also assigned automatically to this bus channel so these are the workflow features of studio one that I really like you guys might be asking why I'm still using Cubase 10 if I like all these features in studio one um, I like Cubase in terms of its stability. Studio One crash a lot compared to Cubase. Let me be honest with you guys. Which is why I prefer Cubase have all these features so that I don't have to switch to Studio One. So that's a simple comparison of folder tracks in both Studio One and Cubase. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.